hi everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is luna and i make animal crossing videos every single week so if you're into that consider subscribing to join our little ac family so today i will be working on the back of my resident services but i wanted to share with you guys something remember when i said i was going to villager hunt for one of the five villagers that i mentioned in my previous video well i started villager hunting and i was going to record it but this villager hunt became a hunt for days I was not coming across any of the villagers that I wanted, which were Bob, Francine, Chrissy, Ruby, and Bunny. I have spent about 400 Nook Mile tickets and found absolutely no one. But then I was left with only 15 tickets and I told myself if I don't find anyone with my last 15, I would just let my plot autofill. I wanted to show you guys some of the villagers that I came across. It was super hard to say no to all of these villagers. There were some that I've never came across but i've heard about them but i was so focused on finding only the villagers that i mentioned no matter how cute they were i resisted and went to the next island but i finally found someone with my remaining 12 tickets and it was actually bunny i was so happy when i found her just look at her look how cute she is but yeah i wanted to share that with you guys in my last video i created this pathway if you're curious on how i created this diagonal pathway i will leave a link to that video in the time cards on top and ignore nor my blue windflower that I completely ran over. Anyways, this is the section that I'm going to be working on today. I want to create a heart-shaped sunken waterfall. Oh, look at Stitches wearing a coat in the middle of the summer. We love to see it. So like I mentioned, I wanted to create a heart-shaped sunken waterfall. I saw someone do this a long time ago, but I had no room on my island to create this and I ended up not doing it. And I felt like this island needed something like this. I've done crescent moon ponds and a spiral pond on my channel before and I will leave a link to those videos in the description below in case you want one on your island. Also please ignore my custom design list. It is all over the place. I need to organize it and add more designs. I still have my old ones which is a very shameful. Not my pro controller on low battery. How dare she. I have a plan for my whole island. I took some time to think about it to see what I really want on this island and how I want this island to turn out. My island will have a forest garden theme just because I feel like the original Alice in Wonderland movie was just her going through a dirt path and a bunch of trees everywhere and everywhere she turned something happened so that is what I want for this island. I finally got Bunny so I'm going to probably start working on my tea party. I'm going to work on getting Bob next because I want to create a forest and use the tree standees and customize them in different seasonal trees to make it look like the Cheshire cat was hanging out. So I have a whole plan for his house and I wish I would have found him before Bunny, but I'm so glad I got Bunny. I literally cried when I found her because my villager hunts go way shorter, but this one was 400 plus tickets and I was losing hope in finding any of them. And not only losing hope, I was running out of tickets. So I was hoping to find somebody with the tickets that I had left. Also, I was thinking about going on Nikazan to buy any of the villager but I'm very skeptical with buying villagers off of Nikazan. I got lucky with one villager off of there even though I was skeptical because it was a Megan and I was looking for her for a very long time. That's why I'm kind of hesitant. I don't want to give her up but she was ungifted and I heard about people scamming and saying that things were ungifted when they really were gifted. So in case you don't know, ungifted means you didn't give your villager anything so no clothes, no nothing. Like they literally came to your island with the clothes on their backs. Now gifted means your villager is going to come with whatever the last person gave them so it can be any article of clothing or anything that they gave them to display in their house. Now if you don't have the DLC you're stuck with the villager having all this stuff but if you have the DLC you're able to customize the inside of the house and remove all of that. So getting a gifted villager isn't that bad if you think about it only if you have the DLC but let me pause and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm marking off where I'm going to carve out for the sunken part of my waterfall. It just makes it easier for me to see where it is so I'm not going crazy carving out things that I don't need. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know if people that don't have the DLC get the option to buy stuff from the villager homes. I got the option to purchase some stuff but I hate that my villager tells me no for a specific item that I want removed because it's ugly <laughs> and they want to keep it because it's sentimental to them. I was very hesitant to let 
let go of Megan, but we will see. I might end up parting my ways with her. I just remembered a story with my other villager, Sherb. I'm going to tell you while I'm carving out the heart-shaped waterfall. So I got this game in April 2020. So the game was about one month old at this point. And I got Sherb as one of my three starting villagers. So I, as everyone does, start talking to my villagers to get to know them. And I didn't have much in this game. So I was wearing the same clothes every single day. So one day I went up to Sherb to talk to him and he said, to me something along the lines of that I need to change my clothes that I wear them too much I never felt so disrespected in my life especially from an AI character those weren't his exact words but they were more harsh I wish I would have taken a screenshot of it but I was in complete shock at that moment because I'm just like what if I'm really poor because I was I was very poor in this game and I literally had nothing I had to fish and do so many things just to get some bells in this game and I finally got the outfit that I was wearing and you're telling me I need to change it because I wear it too much so at that point I'm just like I need to get rid of this guy because he's out here disrespecting me I didn't want him anymore on my island until I went on YouTube and saw so many people wanting him going on villager hunts for him which made me be like oh maybe I should keep him just because he's this sought out villager that everyone wants and maybe one day I'll trade him for something but then time passed and I ended up making amends with Sherb. I ended up taking his advice and I sold a lot of my stuff and bought a whole new outfit. I went right back to Sherb to show it off and surprisingly he said he really liked my outfit and gave me a gift which threw me off because I was hoping for an apology but whatever this was years ago I can let it go he stood on my island so I can forgive I feel like Nintendo took away a lot of the dialogue because I tried doing this again when I got a new switch and the villagers seem like they don't care what I wear even if it's the same outfit for months so yeah that's my little story about the beef I had with Sherb I think the worst time to build is during the fishing event my villagers will literally fish in one by one square feet of water I will create one tile worth of water and five villagers will start swarming over to that little spot while there's other ponds around us and start throwing their fishing rod in there and I'm just like really why are we doing this i'm just going to create this area up until this point i like to work on my island section by section because if i start doing large sections at a time if i don't like it then i have to remove it and i'm very lazy with removing things it took me about a month to flatten my island just because i was doing it one hour at a time or whenever i felt like it i'm definitely going to stick with the fairy tale theme i also bought the disney dreamlight valley which i'm going to start playing on my own at first and when I figure out how this game works I think I could decorate I'm not sure but if I do get to the decorating part but if you guys want to see what I do in the game let me know and I will definitely record that as a second video during the week but yeah I am just adding some final touches fixing up and adding to the empty spaces and with that we are done with the build here is how the heart-shaped waterfall ended up looking can I tell you that I'm super obsessed with how this one turned out I have to do a flyover once I complete majority of what you can see during the flyover just so that you guys can have an idea of how this looks when you're flying to my island once you go through the diagonal pathway it will lead you right over here which will lead you to two different sections so you can go over here where the wedding arch is or you can go around and head over to the bridge I am going to continue extending the cliffs further and further back not sure how I'm going to go about this island but taking it one step at a time and this is how the right side of this build ended up looking you know I had to add the rabbit with the little clock right on top of the mushroom I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put over here but I guess I'll figure it out later on in life but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful let me know by hitting the like button and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to join our little AC family I love you all so much take care and I'll see you in the next video